Hi there, Lindsay here with a fun um, painting experiment for you today. It's fun, you can do this with the kids. Um, so what I have here is a mixture. This is actually a request. Somebody sent me a picture of some paint um, that they had seen for sale and they wanted to know if I could duplicate it and I think I came pretty close. So um, what I did was I took two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of white glue, just Elmer's glue, and half a cup of water and mixed it up in this um, canning jar here. It's a uh, quite, it's about the consistency of I would say uh, like half and half or maybe heavy cream and then what I'm gonna do is uh, you want to make sure you're working on a flat surface and something fairly rigid like a canvas I'm working on um, just a scrap of mat board you can use cardboard actually all my experiments I did with food coloring and um, cardboard from my recycling bin because I didn't want to waste anything good so you want to you want to coat this fairly well and this is going to be giving this is going to give you kind of um, the medium that your ink is going to flow in and you can use um, food coloring or liquid watercolors or any sort of um, sort of uh, flowy ink that you have so you just want to make sure you get it covered pretty well and mine's starting to my, my cardboard here my mat board scrap is starting to bow a bit which isn't ideal so you might want to work with a canvas pad paper or a um, stretch canvas but I just didn't want to I was doing this for fun and I don't intend to do any real art with it so I just kind of wanted to get this for just for experimenting it's hard to get it uh, really level but you do want it kind of level so your paint can flow and then what I'm gonna do is just go in and drip some ink and you can watch let me do some darker colors so you can really see it go and you get this really cool effect I think this would be kind of fun on a card too maybe if you uh, taped down some, oops, let's zoom in a little bit, um, maybe if you taped down some um, cardstock, move that over a little bit, look at that one, that one looks kind of cool, do some purple, and you have to work pretty quickly because when this dries it needs to be pretty wet for the paint to move. So somebody had sent me an email, one of my YouTube viewers, and asked if I could replicate the Colorways paints, and this isn't exactly the same, um, but those paints are expensive and this is certainly a fun little hack that you can try if you want to and the what gave me the, the um, idea was that I've used cornstarch and glue before in kids crafts and you get that similar look if you're when you're adding food color to it to color your project and I thought well that'll be kinda that's kind of a fun thing to do you can tip it a bit but I think that you get your best effect if it's flat my uh, paper has bowed so it's tending to go to one side or the other and it's not kind of blossoming out blossoming out into circles but um, but I still think it's kind of kind of cool you can see as it dries it doesn't move around as much so you can kind of play with it like that one's kind of moving around in a pretty good circle there you can play with it to get the effect that you want and I think it would be kind of just fun to make backgrounds or maybe just for a little I don't know science experiment with the kids or something now something else that is cool and I got the idea because I saw their uh, extender medium I thought well I bet that's something like alcohol so if I look at that if I dab some alcohol in there you get all these really cool little specks and it will kind of push your pigment now I don't have a dropper I wish I I wish I had a dropper for this but I don't um, but it kind of makes it move around and flow around so it's just kind of a fun little um, little thing for you to try I'm gonna see if I can maybe use a paintbrush and get get like a little there we go see that isn't that cool so there you have it. Um, the recipe again is two tablespoons cornstarch, two tablespoons white to glue, half a cup of water, and um, just play and have fun. You can use um, your regular um, food colors work great for this. Um, and I just have my liquid watercolor down here. So it's just something to kind of fun to play with. And if you can keep a, your board flat, you will get more of like starburst blossoms. So anyway, I just want to share that with you. A little crafty fun. Thank you so much for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe. And as always, happy crafting.